what is up you guys is DJ Leo and we're going to talk about hi-hats today so hi-hats is yet a simple but complex uh, topic here because it always helps you to make some creative sounds in your in your music that are so catchy very catchy and most of the times it's time taking to do that but I found a trick here and reason a way you where you can go ahead and browse all the options and all the quarter notes and whatever they're called. Uh, so just to get creative around your music and to get quick ideas on how to put your hi-hats on a song. Uh, something like this, that's what we're looking for. Um, not exactly this, but I'm just saying. in the music now of course that's what I felt like that's what sounded good to me so now to get that trick I'm just gonna mute this and start all over what you need here is a read room so that read room I just go ahead into instruments and drag it down here and reset it and I've just loaded up a hi-hat here. You can put up any hi-hat and start off. And then you can always replace it later on. So here's what does it. So I will press run here. So it can play into my session. But not really write it, writing into my session. But just to get the preview. So I just press run here. And load a simple pattern here so now what does the trick what does the trick it's the resolution right here you can see it's it has everything here like 1 over 16 1 over 16 t 1 over 32 1 over 64 uh, that's how fast you can move your hi hat i mean come to think about it it's very creative because i i never used to use this thing but now that I find out about this, I think I should share with you because it's very cool. It's very unique. So here's what it does. I'll play my beat here. So you can hear it's pretty much basic, right? So we're going to change that basic to something cool, something we can deal with. So let's do a preview. So you can see as I move the resolution knob, it does tricks there. But um, unfortunately, I haven't, I haven't had a way to get it to work with automation. If there's a way, maybe you guys can find out something. Please be be free to share because we would like to know that trick as well. But it could have been handy if you could edit this as automation or maybe override it. I haven't tried override mapping and whatever you can try and see how it works for you right so in this case i'll just preview uh what i like here and then i'll send that pattern to the track to to, to my session here so let me loop it let me loop it yeah let me loop it somewhere here okay there I say that's what I'll be working at. Then I say back to that. Um, once again, let me preview. Right, so here's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the one over 16 copy part of the track and then I'm going to move this to one over 32 and 
copy this to track. As I do this, this gets transferred to the uh, read run track, but then to the sequencer simultaneously. And I'll take one over 16T as well. Copy to that. Then I'll take one over 128 or maybe 64. Yeah, one over 64. We see how that sounds. So there, you got your thing. So now we just have to uncheck this to make sure it doesn't sound through our music because it's going to confuse that. Then you just got to come to the music and get your laser tool, is it? Or your cut tool, your scissor, whatever. And just go through and experiment what sounds better to you. To me, I'll just guess. <clears throat> to me, I'll just I'll just guess and uh, see how that would sound like, right? Uh, I'm gonna do that. 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 It might sound funny or whatever, but at least you get the idea. At least you get the idea. So let's do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Then I do that. I can cut that to that. Then I can leave that. I can push that back. I can mute that. Let's see other sounds. So you see, it's pretty cool and easy. Because now I got all the patterns here and I have nothing to stress about because I know I'm in control here and I have all the pattern to tweak around it, to tweak it rather. Yeah. To tweak, tweak, tweak the knobs around it. So here's what's up. sounds better so I say put that there put that there and there's a two I say there maybe and you maybe there I don't know guys I'm just putting uh, like I said you can go ahead and experiment this on your own. See how it suits your needs. All right. That's pretty much sounds like a bar I can work with. So I'll, I'll delete everything else and I'll just join all these little pieces together uh, just not to make it look complicated yeah uh, that's it that's pretty much how I get my hi has done into pretty much all my music so here <laughs> I mean that's cool and comes in handy and it's quick to me and you can even go way deep into it and try to automate the pan the pitch or maybe the pan whatever you can get creative like I say you get creative i don't know i hope this helps you guys out there and uh, i'll be coming out